G'day, Andy here again. We're going to talk about the solar um, array which is on our roof. Um, first we talked about the shed uh, solar, now we're talking about the, the main house solar system. In our other episodes we'll talk about the greenhouse and also our hot water system and ATU system and all the rest of it, but this today we're going to talk about the solar. Now we've got three sets of panels on this uh, house. We've got this f east facing panel which is 1.5 kilowatts tipped up at about 30 degrees here for uh, to catch the morning sun. We've got another array in the middle of the roof facing north and the west side we've got another set like this one uh, to catch the afternoon sun. So um, I'll show you all those ones. Okay, well, now up on top of the roof, it's a bit windy up here. This is the uh, main solar array. Um, this is about six kilowatts, um, which is incorporated with the solar system, which joins to the other two. again. Uh, this is the east facing solar array. Uh, it's another 1.5 kilowatts, a little bit flatter than the other one. I am going to put it up so we can catch the afternoon sun as it goes down over the horizon and get that last glimpse of sun to use. That's what we intend to do. So we had a look at the array upstairs that's on the roof. We looked at the north array and the east and west array. We have a look now at the battery situation. In here we have our lead acid batteries, our sealed lead acid batteries, which are connected in through these cables up through into the house, into our control station you might say, where the um, battery inverter is. So we've got two banks of batteries, you've got this, we've got 24 2 volt batteries all going through here. They're all 520 amp hour. So that makes up 48 volts. Then on the other side here, we've got another bank of batteries, also 48 volts, and another 520 amp hour. So that makes, when they join together in parallel, that makes 48 volts, five, uh, 1,040 amp hour. That gives us enough capacity to get us through the night and um, and operate all our, all our things. So this is what we've got it in this uh, insulated um, room here to keep everything safe and quiet. And now we'll go inside and have a look what we've got behind this wall here. So we've got inside now. On the other side of the wall is where the batteries were. And they come, the battery cables come through to this isolator switch and then up into the sunny island, which is the battery inverter. It does all the thinking about um, where the power is going, where it's coming from, so it can make sure we have full power and it's charging the batteries and everything's happy. If for some reason we have a um, excess power draw, like it's over six and a half kilowatts, all the appliances all, all happen at once, it'll automatically start the generator up and compensate or supplement the batteries for the draw usually doesn't happen because it we have most of our appliances working during the daytime where we got maximum solar input and we've got maximum battery charge so it's m more likely to happen in winter um, so that also you can start it up in winter when the days are shorter and the nights are longer so that would you know, because in winter, when it's short days and long nights, you're using more light, more electrical lights and things like that. So you're using more power up. Anyway, it sorts all that out and there's no problem. We've got a 14 kVA diesel generator, which um, is very economical. And in winter, it might come on for about an hour uh, per day or sometimes not at all, depending on the, whether we're getting sun. Because the solar panels are more efficient when it's sunny and cold. There's a maximum efficiency. When they heat up, they lose efficiency a little bit. So it depends on the weather. 
okay, so in the lap of the gods. So we've got this uh, sunny island, all right, sunny island is designed to run isolated on an island. So that does all that thinking. We've got a uh, remote here, which all tells you the battery um, voltage at the moment on 91%, so that's really good. We're only using 0.3 of a kilowatt of power at the moment. We can, when you press, uh, not that one, we'll go back again. Um, when we go here, it goes to inverter and then generator. If I press this one to generate, it's got an auto. I can, I can press that and turn to stop or start, run for one hour or put it on auto, which is what I'm going to do right now. Put it back down the way it was. So if for some reason you look at the battery uh, voltage and it's, and it's a little bit low, you're not too happy with it, you can just put it on for one hour and it'll just boost the batteries up and things like that. Okay, so that's that one. Um, very uh, works quite well. We've got all the different parameters you can do. If you uh, look in the manual, you can set many parameters to get it working as efficient as possible. Then we've got so that's that, and then we've got the uh, Sunny Boy our um, six kilowatt inverter, which is connected to the uh, main north facing solar array, which I showed you second up on the video. Um, so six and a half kilowatt uh, system up, up top, and this is the six kilowatt uh, inverter. This tells you also the different things. It gives you the today's readings. This is how much it's put in. Sometimes it throttles back and, and winds down in the middle of the day when we're not using any power because we're both at work. And it'll just come right back down and not actually put in much power at all. You can see the two strings of arrays here for um, uh, the the uh, north facing array this is one of them put in 350 volts and two amps or 0.2 of an amp at the moment because it's all charged up the other one's put in 253 volts and it'll change in a minute at 0.2 of an amp the draw here is 0.4 um, our total um, solar input since we've had the system going which is about five years ago uh, we've had 21.894 megawatts of power coming from this system alone. Uh, today's power, we put 19 kilowatts of power in. Uh, at the moment, it's got 104 kilowatts uh, running at the moment. So it's, 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 it's just idling, basically. Then we've got the other system over here, which is the 3 kilowatt system. And we've got two strings running off this one, which is one on the wet east one on the west then um, each one of those 1.5 kilowatts this is a three kilowatt system we can bump them up a bit because you can't have sun on the east and the west at the same time so we've got room for expansion there now this one uh, doesn't have that read out there but it's got the Bluetooth feature here which you put an app on your phone and it tells you that same information what's over there and you can see it wherever you are when your internet connection so that one's connected to that. So this is the east and west. That one's the main uh, array, the north facing. They're both connected up into the Sunny Island. Um, and then it decides whether, okay, we've got enough power in the battery. Let's ramp them down. The uh, solar gain from the, from the solar, we don't need it anymore. So that ramps that down. And as the sun goes down now, it'll the other one will pick up the one on the east west side as the sun goes down and it'll probably ramp up a bit the the uh, main one will drop off so it's picking up voltage from there both of these inverters are, are, are what they call MPPT which is important when you're getting inverters as multi multi power point tracking so what it does it like we showed you the voltage there and the amperage it can either pull more amps or more volts depending on the output from the um, solar panel to get the maximum efficiency from, from the solar panel to put in the batteries or into the system. Now, that they're connected to this, then this then is connected through to the power main power circuit going into the house. All right, this is our power board, and we've got normal uh, appliances just like any um, house has. We've got a dishwasher, we've got a washing machine, we've got two fridges uh, and freezer. We have a 7.1 kilowatt 
air conditioner, we have grow lights over the top of the aquaponics. We've got everything happening just like a normal house, wired up 240 volts, um, just like a normal house. So this supplies the whole house with power effortless, effortlessly and no power outages. That's a, a magnificent thing. So we don't have power failures at all when you see people out there blackouts when it's stormy, we don't get that. Another thing we don't get is power bills. Love it. All right, so that's about it for the, the, the um, electrical system for the house. Um, so next time we'll look at other different features in, in, the, in the house on the next video. Uh, we'll look at the ATU, which is alternate treatment unit, and uh, maybe a bit more on the greenhouse and other bits and bobs. So just remember, better fuel, better future with great sustainable living. See you next time.